Hi, in this video we are going to discuss about pacemaker potential. So this question has been asked as a short essay question. Explain the ionic basis of pacemaker potential with the 8 FI label diagram and mention the changes during sympathetic stimulation. Now it has also been asked as a draw and label question. So first we will see how to answer the first question. So you can start your answer by an introduction in which you can mention that the SA node is a pacemaker the heart and that it contains rhythmically discharging cells and that these discharging cells have got a very unstable resting membrane potential. See that is a very important point. Normally we say that almost all cells have got a very stable resting membrane potential but for pacemaker cells they have got a very unstable resting membrane potential which after each impulse declines to the firing level. And that is called the prepotential or the pacemaker potential. And this in turn triggers the next impulse. So in the introduction you can write these points. Then we will see how to draw the diagram. So for that we can first draw the y axis showing the membrane potential. So it, it should range from around minus 90 to around plus 30 millivolts. Now we said it has got a very unstable resting membrane potential right. But it usually ranges between minus 40 to minus 60. So you can start drawing the graph showing the rise in the membrane potential. Now why is it that there is a rise in the membrane potential? That is because of the activation of special channels which are activated during hyperpolarization. So that is why they are also called funny channels. Why are they called funny? Because usually channels open only during depolarization. But this channel which this hyperpolarization gated channels open during hyperpolarization or when the voltage is less that is why it is called funny. So through these funny channels there is entry of sodium and that is why there is a slight change in the potential here. So this channel is depicted as H channels and that is why we write here that there is an increase in permeability of the H channels increased H channel current. Okay. So like that the potential will increase up to say around minus 55 because of this H channels. Now what happens at minus 55 millivolt our next set of channels which are the calcium channels open up. So these are our transient channels that is why we have depicted it as a T. So the from minus 55 to around minus 60 there is opening up of the calcium channels which are the transient calcium channels. Okay. So it is because of this channels that the voltage rises to around minus 40. Once minus 40 is reached then there will be opening up of another set of calcium channels which are the long lasting calcium channels. So here in fact the depolarization is due to calcium channels due to the long lasting calcium channels. Right. And once it reaches a peak so here the peak is around plus 20. Once it reaches around plus 20 the depolarization is complete and then we will move on to the phase of repolarization. So here again repolarization is due to the potassium current due to the opening up of potassium channels which cause efflux of potassium. And by the end of this repolarization phase this current will decrease the, the opening up of the potassium channels will decrease. Okay. So here again the potential will decrease and then our uh, the cycle will continue. The funny currents will open up the transient calcium channels will open up and the cycle will continue. So this is how the SA nodal cells have the ability to rhythmically discharge because they've got a very unstable resting membrane potential. Okay, so this is the diagram that you have to draw. You have to also mention the different currents that are responsible for the different phases. Okay. So now you can we can write about the ionic basis of the space maker potential. So we can start from the repolarization. So we can start from this point about from the repolarization. So see at the peak of each impulse IK or the permeability of potassium begins and brings about repolarization. The IK or the potassium current then declines and a channel permeable to both sodium and potassium is activated and that is our IH or our funny channels. IH increases the permeability of the H channels increases and the membrane potential begins to depolarize forming the first part of the prepotential. That is what we have mentioned here the initial part from minus 60 to minus 55 is due to this H current the increased permeability of the H channels. And then what happens the calcium current due to opening up of the transient calcium uh, calcium channels completes the prepotential. And then the action potential is caused by the ca calcium current produced by the opening up of the long lasting calcium channels. 
so see these are this is the ionic bases you can just write that in a flow chart manner so then we'll see the role of autonomic nervous system so we know that our heart is richly supplied by autonomic nerve fibers both parasympathetic as well as sympathetic so if we've got a rich supply of the sympathetic system as well as from the parasympathetic system we've got the left vagus as well as the right vagus which are supplying the uh, especially the pacemaker tissue so first we will see the role of parasympathetic system so the sa node is innervated by parasympathetic fibers from the right vagus here here you can see that this is the right vagus so our sympathetic sa node is being richly supplied by our right vagus so during cardiogenic stimulation acetylcholine is released so now we will see what acetylcholine does so this acetylcholine which actually bind on to our m2 receptors that are present on the sa node and this in turn will open up another channel which is called the acetylcholine regulated potassium channels so this so when acetylcholine binds it actually causes opening up of the potassium channels so what will happen to our pacemaker potential see this is the normal pacemaker potential right so here what happens is this decrease in the potassium current will not occur because of the opening up of, of these potassium channels so what will happen so when there is a decrease in the potassium current the slope of the prepotential will actually decrease see you can see that it is much less steeper now okay which in turn will cause a decrease in the heart rate so this is how a parasympathetic stimulation cause decrease in heart rate how because of opening up of special potassium channels called ach regulated potassium channels see actually there is one more method by which acetylcholine decreases the heart rate and that is by decreasing the amount of cyclic amp so in cyclic amp decreases also there will be a decrease in the heart rate okay so these are two mechanisms by which acetylcholine acts so now we'll see the effect of the sympathetic system in the sympathetic system the neurotransmitters are nor norepinephrine so the norepinephrine will bind on to the beta 1 receptor which is present and this in turn will cause an increase in the cyclic amp levels now this will cause opening up of the calcium channels and lead to calcium influx so how will this affect our pacemaker potential so see this is a pacemaker potential now we can see that on sympathetic stimulation there is an increase in the calcium influx so what will happen our prepotential slope actually increases the prepotential here has become much steeper so sympathetic stimulation will increase the slope of the prepotential and makes the heart rate go faster because of this opening up of the calcium channels right so this is the mechanism by which a sympathetic system increases the heart rate so the in sympathetic system norepinephrine is secreted by the sympathetic endings and it increases the rate of sinus nodal discharge now there are some other effects for the sympathetic system also you can mention that it increases the rate of conduction as well as the level of excitability in all portions of the heart and it also increases the force of contraction of the cardiac musculature both atrial and ventricular so these are the effect of sympathetic system now for as additional scoring points you can complete your answer by writing some applied aspects like the role of beta blockers especially in tachycardia see we said that norepinephrine acts through beta receptors beta 1 receptors right so when beta blockers are given what will happen the heart rate will decrease so that is why beta blockers are given for the treatment of tachycardia another drug that is used is atropine so atropine is a parasympathetic blocker right so the heart rate will be around 150 to 180 beats per minute so these are the two different applied aspects that you can write for this answer so when a question like pacemaker potential is asked you can start your answer with a definition then draw the diagram showing the different currents that are responsible for the potential then you can write the ionic bases and then the role of autonomic innervation wherein you can write the role of the parasympathetic system the mechanism of action as well as the sympathetic system and its mechanism of action and then you can finish your answer by writing the applied aspects so i hope this concept is clear thank you